Yo, welcome back to my world, Dario Richie here, and guys, don't know what episode number this is, but we're continuing to try and find what's going on with the Kyuyo. What is there a, a hidden host? So guys, I also have um, a quest I have to do as well, so let's click play. Let's click play. And also, in my best moments video for this month, you're gonna see my next most badass, and look how wicked it looks. The Lei Jang armor set. I got it. I got it in my last, last live stream, which was two days ago on Fridays. I stream Monster Hunter. Uh, but yeah, I got it and I was like, yes, Super Saiyan 2, baby. Super Saiyan 2. I always called the Lei Jang armor set Super Saiyan 3 because you got the long hair for Super Saiyan 3. Looks exactly the same, like Super Saiyan 2, this one. This one is Super Saiyan 2. Wicked. I absolutely love it. Or I can just call it normal Super Saiyan. But like, Super Saiyan 2, Super Saiyan, whatever. Looks so cool. I absolutely love it. My electric type protection for um, yeah anything that can hit me with thunder and stuff. So Zeno and stuff. So let's go to um, little Chit here. And I'll show you that I've got just one more key quest to complete. Now, Teostra. Chameleons. Which one should I do? I don't know if, I don't think I'll be using my Ray Jang actually, I won't be using my Ray Jang. So I'm thinking Teostra? Should I do Teostra? Or should I do Chameleos? Chameleos is like technical at times, so I feel like Te he's a little bit easier though, but Teostra I just feel like a real smash flaming times. So let's do Teostra. We'll bring our good old Fiorain and Hinoa. Gorgeous sweethearts, and we'll do this to complete our next key quest. There he is. We can't capture him, so it's time to strike him down. Holy fudge. my best pal. There he is. Down for the count. Bam. Absolute 
destruction. It was quite squishy in that little fight in this little arena. I was like on my toes. But yes, this is actually the first time I guess I've yeah I've taken them on in the master rank. So I'm just realizing that it's like oh taking on my elder dragons again, and that little bit. I mean I'm I'm well prepared. Got my wrath loss. If it wasn't my wrath loss, you know fire resistance you want to have always against with him. I should probably have given myself a dango that gave me even more fire resistance because he's all about fire. Him and um a big creepy crawly spider. Webby, she is also, yep, very crazy. But this is an Elder Dragon, Telstrad does not let up. But he tried to get me so many times and he failed every single time. Man, I was really, really gunning for it. Alright, so I'm curious to see where are we going now. We've completed this final key quest to do the next urgent quest, I'm assuming so. Um, so let's see, is it going to be about a new host? Are the Curio got a new host? I'm really curious to see how how much further are we going in this series after Malzino's down? Uh, after Malzino being down. The Curio are gathering at the Citadel. Oh, right. The Citadel again. It's as if that place is cursed. Huh. Oh, I didn't mean. But please forgive me, Admiral. I've insulted your home. Forget it. My old home may very well be cursed and cursed. Cursed by the Archdemon of the Abyss. The Archdemon of the Abyss. By the way, I just realized. Interruption. Pokemon of the day. Flame on, yo. Charmander. Heard of that before, Dario? It's an old legend in the kingdom. It tells of a demon, deep underground, lying in wait. When people's hearts are filled with darkness, it will surface to destroy them. Hmm, Admiral, is it not just some bedtime story? I mean, I know I was the one who first mentioned the whole curse idea, but I didn't mean it. This isn't like you. I apologize, I didn't mean to unsettle you. Heard, head to the Citadel and report back on what the Curio are doing. Looks like Tadori is on a mission of his own. Guess he's got a hunch. You two are uh, be careful out there. Anything, anything could happen. Yeah. Alright, well, let's go check it out. Chich, what's the urgent quest about? Ah, Dario. Admiral Gallius has informed me that the Curio have gathered at the Citadel. What if it's as Bahali fears and they've managed to find a new host? But can they even do that? There is one creature demon kind of thing, skeleton looking monster, I forgot his name. But I can only imagine a thing like that would be living very deep down in the depths. But can they even do that? Can they adapt to a new host and coexist with it as they did with Malzina? Yep. There are. There you go again, confusing yourself. Chich, um, Dario, you will investigate the Citadel, won't you? Be sure to check the special quest. Yeah. Take a look at the quest list. We'll do that by hunting a Lunar Gowan. Why not? Lunar Gowan it is! Yo! Lunar Gowan will have Fiori and Hinoa. And let's go pick um, something that can uh, protect us from his icy attacks, right? We could do that. Pay with the money, order the bet. Let's order one. So let's do something that is um, ice resistance. Let's think of we we can do it. we can uh, large monsters encounter with let's have an increase yet. Yeah, we'll do that too. Um, Defender, Medic, Fire Resist, Water Resist, Thunder Resist, Ice Resist, let's do that. Ice Resist though, um, yeah because he's all about a bit of ice, uh, let me just quickly google him. Luna Gowan. Go on.
Okay, so weaknesses is fire. So go go full wrath here. Um, his weakness is also thunder. His elements are ice. Um, resistance is ice. Yeah, elements is ice. So yeah, let's just stick to that, and let's go buddy tree. Yeah, why not? We'll add a bit of buddy goodness. I don't know if it's just me, but I've seen this in my last stream. The skies and stuff, it looks like they've gotten much darker. Different contrasts all of a sudden. Beautiful. Love, love, love. It looks like Fairy Floss, this one, because a lot of the pinks and the purples. Yeah, I'll go full wrath. Wrath loss, um, armor set with Wrath loss long sword. Yeah, it's good. so good. Oh, I can do dual blades? Maybe, it's, I, maybe I should do my dual blades. Hang on a minute. Let me have a little look see. I've been playing with my long sword you know, for a while, so let's do. <clears throat> let's look at my dual blades. Yeah, dual blades. Yeah, let's do the dual blades. Because hey, we're reversing Lunar Gavin, he's got dual blades of his own. Uh, and let's fix up our, what should we call that, our items, item rollout, yep, perfect, nice, good, 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 I think we're all good to go, yo, Lunar Gallon, here we go again with the Lunar Gallon, yeah. This will be easy. Okay, what happened? I'll join you on your quest. This place is a real ghost town. There's no one of the epidemic life or those spirits or nothing. It looks to me we might just have to go straight to Luna Gowan. Something's whoa. It's a Zeno! Oh my gosh! Something's really gone down here. Maybe Luna Gowan is the new host. Holy fudge! No way. Is he really the new house? Yo, Luna Gowan, what's going on, yo? Gonna tread carefully here, but luckily it's a Luna Gowan. As in, he's very easy to handle. Well, I'm not always used to having this low on stamina, and I picked dual blades of all things. Did not expect this to happen. Something is very strange going on here. It's like no one used to play. It's like full on quiet. Move out. What is going on here? He's leaving. Is he actually the new host? Hot diggity damn. I'm expecting something really strange to happen. Look at the gallon, man. What's going on? You've taken the lane? Ah! Yikes. Very 
Playing that well. Oh, my God. Goodness me. I just dodged that. I'm not used to having this long stamina. Oh my gosh. There we go. It's vulnerable. Attack. Is not enough. It's coming for you. Oh my gosh. It's a real mystery, you know? Mysterious music. Everything mysterious going on. It's coming for you! Watch out for that monster! Mm. Oh, that was a good shot, my goodness. Oh, I went straight for that. Thanks for that, Gal. You're my best pal. That's gonna play a little bit safe, you know? Whoa! Leaving again, eh?
Oh, good, good, good. Go back in, yo. This is for my fellow hunters. What could be going on with the gallon? What is going on? This should fix it. What have you done to Zeno here? Yeah. It's Look coming for you. You better take care of yourself. Is this gonna be it? We kinda do need to help you though. Get rid of those. Curio is what's causing all this stuff. Holy fudge, he got me! What the hell? Alright! I was not expecting that. Then the gallon, man. Why has gotten into you? I had a feeling. I had a feeling that it was about to be done. I was like, Pff. it caught me a little bit off guard, made a little bit more damage than I expected. But yeah, that's that. Very mysterious. What could be going on? Look at this place. The Citadel. Yeah. Gonna find out. No music. Just silence. Dead silence. Very spooky. It almost feels like as soon as I took him down, I was like, yeah, there's still I'm some more stuff really to go and to do. Stay awake. Excellent. But, yeah. <sighs> Let's find out what happens. Can't believe he got me now. <laughs> when mankind is consumed by darkness and the land falls into chaos, the archdemon of the abyss shall rise from the earth. The archdemon shall devour the land turning souls into wandering flames. And these wandering flames shall feed the beast and return to darkness. A story ends. Another begins. One
wandering flames. I see you found your home. Hmm. Yo. Neat. Neat. I deserve that <laughs> for him taking me down. My goodness. All right. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, I had a feeling when he said that to Dolly, he said that the first time when a story ends, another one begins. I had a feeling there was something up with that. Dory, what's going on here? Homing instinct. Yes. It seems they've found the place they belong. Homing instinct? Oh, it can't be. That's a hole, that's a crater. Send them straight back down to the darkness. Wow. 
That was insane. There he is. Oh, wow. He's like a god or something. Oh my goodness. Dario, Fiorin, good to see you safe. Admiral, so that was the hunting ship you had built in the capital? Yes. Thanks to the people of Kamua, we were able to make it in time. We appreciate the assistance, Admiral, but I'm completely confused. What on earth was that? The Ark Demon of the Abyss. We talked about it before, right? The demon that rises up from the underground to destroy us all. So it's not a fairy tale? Ages ago, people in the kingdom reported a fierce blowing coming from deep within, beneath them. That's where the story started. Back when the animal was a boy, his home was the place we call the Citadel, today was attacked by Malzina. People heard those same blowing sounds then too. Light animal, risen up from the bowels of the earth. Hmm. As the rumbling proceeded, Malzino circled above as if waiting for something. No link was proven, but in my mind I was sure that the Ark Demon was real, and that it was connected to Malzina. So when I became Admiral, I told Her Majesty and Bahari, and I ordered the ship's construction. And you've been proven right this time. The Ark Demon of the Abyss finally surfaced. Is that the Curio's new host? More like true host. This latest incident has answered a lot of questions. S to start with, the mysterious craters, they weren't made by Malzina at all. They were made by Archdemon. When Malzino, the Elder Dragon, ruler of the kingdom, gets a whiff of something invading, its territory, it goes to check it out. Mm. It was all just a gigantic turf war, basically. One that the rest of us got dragged into. But they didn't fight it out right away. Mm. The Ark Demons never surfaced before. So we all assumed the creators were Malzino's doing. Oh come on, let look at the size of them. Mm -hmm. I see them I see him. and the Curio were the Arc Demons parting shot against Malzino. Ah, it's all making sense now. Malzino was being under attack. They were left to feed on the surface before returning to their true host. Right, and now it's gotten all that energy from the Curio, so there's no telling how powerful it is now. The kingdom's never been a threat. I mean, it's nearly wiped it out twice. And now its number one enemy is out of the picture. All our new ship did was buy us time, some time. If that thing surfaces were toast, we must have given it. We mustn't given into fear. Exactly. With Dario's help, haven't we overcome impossible odds? Odds already. Just as Kamura had to. Dario, the fears. We need you to stoke the flames of your fighting spirit. Once more and help save the kingdom. The guild has informed us that they have given the Ark Demon the name Gas Gas Magon. That's a pretty fitting name. With your help, we'll lay this devil to rest. I've sent the Chavaleos ahead to pro probe the area. Once they're, once there, they will serve us a 
observe as laden with those of us on the surface. Before that fiend finds its way back to the surface, we must take the ship to the crater and finish it. Let's move. This time, for the last time, we will destroy the dark evil under our feet and let light fill the kingdom once more. Yo! Yo! Hot diggity damn! The Arc Demon of the Abyss? Hot diggity damn! I was not expecting it. But it was all coming together as to something. This is insane. Let's talk to Cheech before we end off this episode. This is a big episode, by the way. Holy fudge. The Arc Demon of the Abyss. So, a fairy tale demon is behind all this. But the story goes that when people's hearts are filled with darkness, it will surface to destroy them. It is interesting because at first I was thinking, well, maybe it's trying to be a good guy and not want to have darkness within people and save them or take them away from their darkness or something by probably, I don't know, killing them or something. You all, you all of the knights, all of the research team, everyone who's worked so hard to protect the kingdom, none of their hearts are filled with darkness. Nothing could be further from the truth. The kingdom has faith in you. I know, but maybe he, they're referring to the lords of the land filled with darkness. Yep. The Chevaliers after the Arc Demon will be responsible for Laysen with the surface. So you focus on the battle. I have faith in you. I know you will fulfill your duty and I will be waiting here for your safe return. There he is. I've seen the picture. I've seen that before. I didn't take much note of it, but holy fudge, I'm away. I think what we're looking at here could literally be our last episode of my Monster Hunter Rise Sunblake DLC. Man, oh man, oh man. I hope you guys enjoyed all of that. Yes, sir. Gonna stop it right here. One more episode. I'm 99% sure that this is it. The final battle. The final, final battle. Unbelievable. It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. Guys, I hope you enjoyed. And let's, let's save the game. Let's save the game together. We'll save that game together. Holy fudge. During my next stream. Um, save and quit. Tonight, yeah. I'm gonna be kind of preparing or prepping what I want to use to go against him. I might actually do some farming in my next stream. I might want to look for a particular armor or um, weapon, maybe more so weapon. But I think if we have to look it up, I'm not going to look it up right now or anything, but I wouldn't mind using my Rage Ang armor set scene. It is my newest one or my last loss, my absolute favorite monster dragon i like to call him more of a dragon than a monster he's a weaver um but yeah no until next time guys you just gotta keep on hunting them all peace out